Hello, this is Miss Lena from Miss Lena's Kitchen. And I'd like to tell all of my subscribers and my new ones and, the, and the, my viewers to my YouTube family. How you hope you guys are doing fine today. Uh, today is Friday, so I'm getting ready to do a week, uh, do this for the weekend that I'll be having. And I'm going to do a ch another chicken and dumplings that I haven't done before. So I'm getting ready that I haven't done on the YouTube before. I'm this is another version that I haven't put on the tube. Okay. I have done it before, but I haven't had it on the YouTube. I wanted to clarify myself because I have done it. Okay. So I'm getting ready. I'm going to be putting in uh, celery and onions that I have already fixed. And I'm going to be putting them in the pot with the chicken. And right now, I have uh, I have uh, chicken breast and chicken thighs already and I just kind of started them just a little bit they're not ready yet and I put them on just about two minutes before she started the camera and I, I was trying to get them all done already because I'm trying to cook these up before I get ready to put the dumplings in okay and I have my uh, different color bell peppers and sweet peppers all mixed together the yellow the red and the green and uh, the red okay all colors all mixed together so I'm keep putting all this together because this gives my uh, dumplings flavor for the chicken when I get ready to put the dumplings in. And I'm also putting in one cup of leek. Okay, this helps to flavor out the chicken also. And this is going to be very good when I get through with it. So this is, and now I'm going to put my seasoning in it right now. And like I said all the time, I go pretty heavy on my garlic powder. And so I know I'll be putting at least one-fourth cup of garlic powder as well as onion. One-fourth cup of uh, garlic powder. And I have to... Also, one-fourth cup of onion powder. Okay. I'm not, well, I won't use that much black pepper, but I'll probably put like one third for just a little bit down my black pepper. Okay. Now I'm going to stir this all in together. So I can get it started. And I'm also will be putting putting in my uh, chicken broth. Right now it's just in water. But I'm going to add some chicken broth to it also. Just hold on. I didn't get the, I didn't bring it with me over here. So let me give me a minute. To... Okay. So I'm going to be putting a half of uh, 32 ounces. I'll be putting half of them in here. Okay along with the water because I need this for the dumplings so I'm going to have to put as much juice as I can in it. Okay. I think that's half of the box. Half. It feels like it's about half of it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be stirring it up just a little bit before I put it on the burner and before I turn it on the fire. Okay. I'm going to let it cook for about 30 minutes. Uh, because my uh, uh, my my chicken thighs were kind of frozen, so I'm gonna let it cook at 30 minutes on medium high. So I'll be back shortly after it gets ready. Okay. Okay. I've got my chicken already cooked and I've got it cut up. So I'm going to be putting in this. I'm gonna use this uh, the uh, open kettle dumplings that's already made. It's supposed to be. I don't, I, this, okay, so I have to cut them up, uh, and, and then I let, have let them boil for about, uh, 40 minutes, so I'll be putting these in. Okay, these are the ones that I already have cut up, and I have to cut them in, out of four, I cut four uh, squares in order to do them, and put them in the hot water, and they have to cook for about 40 minutes. 
but I'll have to cut the rest of them. I just have a few cut right now. As I was trying to take get, get them down where I could show them. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to cut more. Say cut them one at a time, but Gonna do a little bit better. I try to cut four at a time, and I'll put them in one at a time. Okay. I have to stir them after I put them in so they won't be sticking. Oh, they're boiling while I'm cooking. Let me see. Let me drop them in. Okay, let me stir them up just a little bit before I put the rest in. It's supposed to be supposed to be boring while I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, my chicken is almost at, and my dumpling is almost at the finishing touch, but I'm gonna put these vegetables in because this is chicken vegetable dumplings with chicken and dumpling vegetables. This is a mixed vegetable with broccoli and a whole lot of different types of vegetables in here. So I'm putting it in and it should be ready. It has to go about uh, 10 more minutes until uh, the, the, the vegetable part get uh, set in with the chicken. It's just frozen also. She already put her chicken in. Too. Yeah, I already put my chicken and carrots and everything else in. But I just didn't have my uh, the vegetables ready. Had to wait 10 minutes. So I'm going to put it back on the burner for 10 more minutes and I'll be back. Okay. I'm back with my uh, chicken dump with my chicken and dumplings vegetable. A uh, vegetable chicken and dumpling with vegetables in it. I have mixed vegetables in it also, and it's uh, another kind of mixed vegetable. And it has um, uh, broccoli and everything in it, a little bit of everything. 
and I had cooked my chicken already in um with uh, with, uh, with my with my broth with the chicken broth and also uh onion powder garlic powder and uh a chicken base uh pebble and also I put a little bit of a uh, onion I had onion powder garlic powder and then I also had uh that was it I think I put in here at this time oh my uh all of my uh green peppers and bell, bell peppers and sweet peppers was all mixed together to boil the chicken in and I I boiled uh chicken breast and chicken thighs and my chicken thighs were they were uh they were really fat and she gave uh a good flavor for the chicken for this for the broth that I have here so now I'm going to take just a little bite of it I don't want to eat too much right now okay so it's really hot just come off the stove so but I did put the chicken thighs in uh, and chicken I had uh, I used to uh, cut up three chicken thighs and uh, uh, two chicken breasts and then I cut it up and I put it in there. And I was intending to show it on it coming in, putting it in there. And I, my daughter had left and I was getting tired and I just put it in there. So that's what I have in there. Then I extra, I put the uh, the uh, pre-cooked, these are pre-made dumplings. So uh, this is the first time I tried these. So uh, this is not like the ones I make for myself. So, but I'm going to taste it for you. Yeah. They're pretty good. Yes, they are pretty good. So, you, if you don't have the time to make your dumplings, you can go and buy, and buy them, uh, the pre-made ones, and take time. It takes about 40 minutes for them to cook without the broth and everything. So, I was going to show you the pack again because most stores have them in the freezer or the, uh, where the biscuits may be or whatever like that. But you might want to try them. Just a minute. Let me get the pack for you. Just one second. Okay, this is what the pack looks like. So they might have another brand, depends on what store you're going to. But it takes about 40 minutes for them to cook. And you, you don't have to put your vegetables in them like I did. But it does, it does say at the end uh, to put carrots and, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, carrots and celery in it. And, and before you put your chicken in. You let it cook about 10 minutes before you put the chicken in. And then you let it, let the, then after you put the chicken in, after your chicken is already cooked now. And after you do that, 10 more minutes for your, um, for your carrots and your uh, celery to blend in to give the flavor. So it's very, it's still good, very good. It's good, so. If you ever want to try it, you can try it. I think you'll love them. It's good. It's, it's very good. So, now, and I don't know if you, you can put whatever kind of other vegetables. If you don't want to put the mixed vegetable in it, you don't have to put any vegetables in them at all. But this was what I decided to do, is to make them with vegetable, Because right now, it's so cold, and we are not getting our vegetables right. And I thought this would be a good time to add vegetables to most of our food that we don't get to eat most of the time because we're eating a lot of things in a hurry, a lot of fried food. So I'm trying to cut back on my fried food myself and trying to eat more with vegetables in it. So I sure thank you guys and all of my family from YouTube. I, I appreciate you guys so much. And I love you all so much. And I just thank you for watching these videos. And I'm hoping that it will help you uh, during the days that's cold or when it's not cold. This will give you a, something fast 
that you can do with one pot and you can do it in a hurry for your whole entire family and then you maybe if you like to even put a salad with it you could i'm just giving another suggestion you can also eat it with crackers or cornbread so have you know have yourself a wonderful night and evening and may god bless you and I, this is all of the love that i have for miss lena's kitchen with all my love and all my heart i love you god bless you and good night a good morning a good day i have to, i have a good morning whatever Whenever you decide to tune in, have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye.